To a story now of goodwill out of Clarendon, where one healthcare worker and her daughter have had their lives changed for the better. More in this report from Cody and Barrett. They've taken care of us throughout the pandemic, but who is taking care of them? That question prompted stakeholders in Clarendon to act when they heard that healthcare worker Tosita Cameron was having a hard time. She's one of the front, one of the frontline staff, and she's risking her life on a daily basis especially like what we have the pandemic right now. So we're grateful that we can actually do, back, do something for her in this time. The assistance will run for the next six years and amount to $1.2 million. That will help Ms. Cameron with groceries and schooling for her daughter. So there is no reason for the mom to, to tell me or the foundation or Steve that the little girl is not going to school because... She get everything to ensure that she go to school every day. Ms. Cameron's daughter was born with Down syndrome and therefore requires costly care. So she appreciates the gesture. I must say I'm, I am so appreciative because at times you know you are in your uniform and because you're a healthcare worker, there's certain priorities that's not set for us, you know, because maybe there's a stance that said we are not in need. You know, so at days we go behind the call of duty and just like for any salary, we have our children, we have our needs and we're at a time now where one helps one and we are very grateful. So for me, being an healthcare worker, this really says a lot because I'm really in need. The community health aid worker doesn't plan to stop healing the sick anytime soon, even after close to 20 years in the public health field. She admits going to work daily to help the sick, especially in the pandemic, has made her very worried about taking the coronavirus home to her child. If we do not do it, then who will do it? Who will care for the nation? What we as health workers have to do is that we have to be extra, extra careful. And you really can't be too careful. But with each morning you get up, it's a new day. You see that you're alive and she's okay. What we do is that we follow the protocols, do what is needed for us, for the survival of ourselves, for our person that we come in contact with, even for our children. So it is a concern. And not even for me, but for all of my colleagues. We stuck around long enough to watch as the family shopped for groceries, led by the seven-year-old who got her pick of her favorite goods. Cody Ann Barrett, TVJ News.